So another thing that you were talking to me about is uh, d that comes into the shop, <laughs> brings instruments into the shop is the AA flat key. So let's take a look at that, Charlie. Yeah. The quickest way to shut a clarinet down is to have this little screw right here on top of the A flat key. Can you bring tight. it a little closer there? Yeah. There we go. When this A flat Good. key is too tight, it causes um, the screw here specifically. It causes this key to stay open. This is the fourth opening on the clarinet, okay? When that right. is not sealing, you're going to squeak all over the place and you're going to think your instrument's broken. But it's actually a very quick fix. So the way to check this is to gently hold the A flat key just in place. You're not pushing down, you just don't want it to move. Right. And you're going to tap on the A key. If there is no play, that is too tight of a screw, okay? You need a little bit of play in there. See, as right now, when I'm pushing it, the key is not moving. And we, we're not looking for a lot of movement, just a little bit. Okay. So this is a quick fix. All you need is a flathead screwdriver. You're going to come in here and loosen the A flat adjustment screw. And that's going to give you a little bit more play. Yeah, and what I'm doing is I'm gently tapping the A as I'm backing it off. Okay, so I over-exaggerated just to show you. So I'm going to hold down the A flat gently. And you see this play? Right. It's moving up and down. This means that both keys are closing, but this is too much play. Okay. okay. So we're going to then take our flat eye screwdriver and just uh, bring it up so we see just a little bit of movement. Okay, so this is probably not something a student would do. Maybe an older student, uh, yeah. a high school student could do, keep it as a screwdriver in a case. Yeah. But for the younger student, this is probably a band director fix. Yeah. It's just a way to check to see if your instrument's really broken or if it's just a simple adjustment that can get you back to play the concert. Right. Okay, so that was one of the three things that you said that bring clarinets in the shop. Uh, and uh, so what, what are the other two we, that, that you've been talking to me about? Three things that, uh, yeah. to look for. So the A and A flat key being one. The second one being the bridge key out of adjustment. And this, like we discussed earlier, the bridge key makes both keys move together. When this is out of yeah, there you go. When this is out of adjustment, it makes it very difficult to play over the break. Um, and so, if I'm holding down the left hand here, okay, and then I bring down my right hand, you see there's a bunch of space in between these two keys. This just goes out from putting the instrument together, just playing it. This key gets used a lot. Yeah, I don't know if we can see that or not, but that bridge key is going up and down. Yeah, okay. And you don't, okay. want, you don't want that much play in it. You don't want any play in this one. Okay. Um, so what you need for this fix would be a pair of uh, needle nose pliers. So this would be an older student or a band director would Correct. take it. Correct. Yeah. And this one is a little more difficult to do, but you still can do it by eye to get the instrument playing again. Um, what you want to do, you want to, let's see how we can do this here. Let's see, let's see. You want to take your needle nose pliers and put it on the middle of the bridge key and the edge of the bridge key at the same time, okay? So what we're going to try and do is tilt this key down, okay? We're going to move it down just a little bit here. And then we're going to bring our right hand keys down again and check. As you can see, there's still a little bit of play. We're going to go a little further. So that bridge key should rest right on the top of its uh, yeah, and as you there. see here now, there's no play. And how we can check that we haven't gone too far is if we push down the right hand keys, I do not feel a, the, the keys moving in my left hand. If this is too tight, if this bottom one is pushing too hard against the top one, you will feel, literally feel the key pushing down. But I don't feel anything here, and I know the keys are closing together. The third thing, maybe being the most common, because this key gets used more than any of them, is the B on the crow's foot being out. Once again, we're seeing play yeah, I've got within a good the instruments good. here. Yeah. We don't, or within the keys. We don't want this play in. This means that the, the B key is not closing and playing anything above the break is so not So it's going to sound real stuffy or it's going to squeak? It's going to squeak. The note won't come out. Yeah. So this one is easy to fix with no tools. What you need to do is you put your finger underneath this key here, okay? Underneath here. And we're going to push down on this cup while keeping the key in place. Yeah, you could do that. A uh, band could, could do that in a concert. <laughs> Absolutely. And how you check this one is you, you finger the B with the lever here. Right. And then you gently push here. And as you see, there's no play. 
And you can also use your ears. You hear the yep. pop? Yep. You want to hear that pop. When it when it's out of adjustment like this, it doesn't have that 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 pop to it, that roundness. Um, okay. And these three things will shut you down very quickly. And that'll keep you out of the shop. Okay. So the final thing is when you're when you have to get up from your seat and you have to put your instrument <laughs> down. That gets instruments in the shop because they do what, Charlie? Well, they always fall over and keys bend. <laughs> um, so the most common thing... Why would it thing, do that? <laughs> well, the most common thing, and so it does sort of make sense. You see this wonderful bell? It looks like it could just sit right here. Yeah. And it can. But the problem is, I guarantee something's going to bump into it, and it will fall, and you'll be coming to see me. So the best thing to do would be to take the instrument and not set it directly upside down just on a flat surface. If it sets in the case, you know, it, it can be okay, you're going to be fine. But the most ideal way would be to set it in this area here where there's not a bunch of keys. And it'll rest pretty good, just like that. And I know sometimes in marching band, students have to put their instruments down the field, yeah. do some choreography or something. Sure. So, and, so, Yeah, and don't, I mean, if you have the choice, don't rest it this way directly on all four trill keys. You know, this is a great way to bend the clarinet, especially you know, so on the that, marching field. So that's a simple prevention. Is simple if you, prevention. If, just if you have it, to set it down, don't put it on the keys, put it on the side yeah, that doesn't have the keys. The opposite side of the trill keys. <laughs> that <laughs> sounds that's good. It. That's Charlie on the clarinet.